Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and we're back with Football Manager 2019 in Eastman Resurgence with Belenet FC Dynamo. And we are so, so close to getting this European finish. We have two games left of the season, both of which will be played today. We start off with a home game against Stuttgart and then we have an away game against Hanover to end the season. And at the moment we are in fifth place. So we, as it stands, will be in a European place. Top six finish will be okay. Providing Bayern win the German Cup. The final is between Bayern and Hanover. If Hanover win, they're in ninth and they will get that European place. If we finish sixth and Hanover win the Cup, we won't get Europe, I don't think. That seems to be how it works. So we really, really need top five. We're in fifth at the moment. I think we're level on points with a sixth place buyer. So it's very, very, very close. Uh, it has been a while since I've actually filmed a video. This one was filmed like over a week ago. I had some serious, serious problems with my editing software to the point which I almost just gave up on it and went back to my old one. It was very, very, very frustrating and it just put me in a bad mood. I didn't want to record anything. I didn't want anything to do with a save really. I did a bit of streaming here and there. I stream Monaco from time to time. So if you do int are interested in Twitch streams, then uh, there's a link to my Twitch down below. But I just had no desire to play the game just because I was getting so stressed out with the editing and the rendering. But um, it seems to be okay now. Something's ch I've changed something which seems to have fixed it. So we're back and we're going to finish season 10 here today. Uh, if we do get into Europe, then next video, there will be a bit of a look around what's happening in football as we are 10 years into a save. So the video after this, uh, providing we get into Europe, will be a bit of a look around at the other leagues, a look at what's been happening in the big tournaments, uh, looking at record transfers, things like that. We're just going to have a bit of a look around the save and see if anything interesting has been happening. Last episode, we got a 2-2 draw away against Schalke. A good point, but disappointing considering we were 2-0 up. I played a couple of league matches off camera. Uh, we faced relegated Paderborn and we faced Bayern. And guess what? For the first time this series, we have beaten Bayern Munich. Not only did we beat them, we scored five. We beat Bayern 5-2. This is, I think, our 11th game or maybe 12th game against Bayern in this save through cup matches and through like a few league matches. We've lost every single encounter until this one and we beat them 5-2. Absolutely sensational performance by the lads. I mean, we're in fifth, we're fighting for Europe and we beat Bayern 5-2. I know it's a bit of a meme phrase in the FM community at the moment, but you love to see it. And it was Martin Tarnak who scored the first goal on the 21st minute, which I think was his 15th goal of the season. So a great, great contribution this year from Tarnak. Bayern did equalise before half-time as a Fafana scored from a set piece to equalise. Uh, but in the second half, we just completely took the game by the scruff of the neck and went ahead via an own goal just three minutes into the second half. Uh, Frankie de Jong's clearance deflected off of Matisse de Ligt and it went into the goal. So a de Ligt own goal gave us a 2-1 lead. We then made it 3-1 just a minute later as Christopher Janssen scored his uh, sixth goal of the season. And it was a fourth in the 57th minute as Janssen scored again. So Janssen with a couple of goals before 4-1 up against Bayern. Unbelievable. Uh, Bayern weren't quite finished. They did score a goal on 76 minutes and it was a Joey van der Meer, the uh, centre-back scoring, to give them a second goal, 4-2. But three minutes from time, Fabian Haag scored pretty much an open goal and it was our fifth goal of the game. BFC Dynamo 5, Bayern 2. A little bit more difficulty against a relegated Paderborn. They are down, they're bottom of the table. And this was a 3-2 win away from home. We did struggle a little bit in this one. But uh, we were, again, much, much better in the second half. Uh, Padamon took an early lead. Christian Ucross scored uh, in just the fifth minute. So a good start by Padamon. We were really slow getting out of the blocks. Very few shots in the first half. We did equalise in that first half. Though Gunter Burkhard with uh, his third goal of the season, uh, giving us a goal on 32 minutes to send it into half-time, one apiece. Uh, just 10 minutes into the second half, Janssen scored. And we went in front for the first time. It was 2-1. And it was 3-1 on 75 minutes. Joao Riculi gets his first goal of the season. Uh, not often you see Riculi score goals, but he got his goal here. 75 minutes, we were 3-1 up. Uh, but it was 3-2, uh, just two minutes from time. It was known goal by Souza as he got a clearance a little bit wrong and ended up sort of sliding the ball into his own net. 3-2 away win. Bit more difficult than the Bayern one, which is just odd to say. But two wins off camera. So yeah, uh, Stuttgart at home and then Hanover away. The last two games of the season. We faced Bayern, by the way, at an opportune moment because they'd just gone through in the uh, semi-finals of the German Cup and they needed penalties. So they'd played on the Wednesday 
Uh, they've played 120 minutes plus penalties, uh, as you can see here. So they faced Leipzig in the German Cup, and uh, that was on the Wednesday. We faced them on the Saturday, and it was just the opportune moment because they were tired and we took advantage. Fantastic. So with two games to go, this is what the table looks like. We sit in fifth place. We can't quite get into the Champions League. That ship has sailed. Leipzig are champions. They've won the league and it was a very good season for them. They've lost just three games all season. And until recently, they've lost just one. They've had a bit of a slow end to the season, it seems. We are one point clear ahead of Bayer Leverkusen, who are in sixth. And we are three clear of Wolfsburg, who are in seventh, which would see us outside of the Europa League places, which we don't want. Uh, Schalke also on 48 points. So still a very small gap, just three points separating fifth and eighth. So we could drop out of Europe. I really don't want this to happen, though. Like I said earlier, sixth place might not guarantee us Europa League football. It depends on the German Cup. OK, into the first matches against Stuttgart, who we've only won once against. Uh, there's been two defeats and three draws, but... It should be a great time to get a win against them. They're not in good form. They've won one in their last five. They're in 12th. This could be good. Uh, so in team news, I don't think there's any new injury concerns. Coleman, McCarty and Fornalak, all fairly new players, will miss out today. Bruno back from his injury, but only fit to make the bench. So Shaban Kier will keep his place. He's been pretty good recently. This is the team we've pretty much been going with. Belskis is coming at centre-back uh, in place of uh, Sally. I think we'll bring on to the bench now. Bezel's going to come out of the team as well. So uh, Belskis in at centre-back. Vimoda has been pretty solid at left wing-back. Uh, Sosa and Burkhardt have been sort of the first-choice pair in central midfield. Although we do have Fabian Hogg on the bench. We have Yusuf Sal on the bench. This seems to be the best team we can put out. So that's what I'm going to do. Going to start on positive. And these are the instructions that we have set. Here we go. And then here's this. There you go. You can see all that. Let's send the team out and let's see what we can do against Stuttgart. We will get the latest scores up. We'll get the live league table up. So we'll have a look at what's happening in the other fixtures. Let's say three at the back for Stuttgart. Not something you see often in the Bundesliga. Uh, we've been on a good run lately. So let's go out there and impress me, impress the fans, impress pundits, all that. Okay, the game's underway. As soon as I can, I will get up the scores. I'll get up the table. Here we go. So Leverkusen host relegated Paderborn. So they could overtake us. We need to make sure we win this game. Otherwise, Bayer could leapfrog us. Schalke are away against Hertha. That might be tough for them. But Wolfsburg uh, aren't playing today. 10 minutes in, we have a throw in. It's Belskis to Dominic Vermola. Gives it back to Belskis. And puts a cross in there. And it's Akershot wins the header, but it's just wide. It could have been an early goal there. Bayer have already taken the lead. So they are ahead of us. And we drop to sixth. Belskis with a throw in. Given away though, but he's won it back. And here's Afonso Sosa. To Gunter Burkhardt, he's got room to shoot here. And he does shoot, but again, can't quite get it on target. Just bends it around the post. Uh, Half-time, nil-nil. Not a very eventful game. A couple of small chances for us, which probably weren't even half chances, were they? No, just a couple of shots that went wide. Leverkusen are 3-0 up against Paderborn, so they're almost certainly going to overtake us if we don't get a result. Schalke being held by Hertha, so they won't quite overtake us. But we need to be a bit better here. Again, it was a quiet first half from us. At the moment, we are in sixth place. That's where we'll be as it stands, which isn't too bad. But, of course, that would rely on us getting the correct result in the cup. And a good chance here, maybe. Yannick's got the ball here. And that cross is blocked. But Kevin Akershot now with the ball, who's been in good form recently. Sosa gives it to Vimola. And Vimola to Sharon Kerr. Vimola's got it back. And that cross is blocked. Still going to be in play, though. Vimola, come on. Another cross in there. Kier. And it's Tarnat, and it's cleared. Afonso Sozo goes for goal. Oh, again, it's just off target. We can't quite get it right at the moment. But Stuttgart haven't created much themselves. Ever there's a similar number of shots, we just haven't seen them. We've been dominating the possession here. I'm going to go attacking because we need this. We really do. Tarnat's been very quiet. He's had a bit of a rough patch of form. So we're going to bring him off, and we're going to bring on Alexander Andreev. We're just going to go for two advanced forwards. And 20 minutes left in this game. We've had one shot on target out of 10. That is just terrible finishing. This is not good enough. And we stay in sixth at the moment. Still 3-0 for Bayer. Schalke are still 1-1 as well. As well. Kier's not been great. Bruno's going to come on. I think he's fit to play. He'll be okay. I'd be very disappointed if Stuttgart, Stutt Stuttgart, if Stuttgart took something from this. Because they don't deserve it. They've been non-existent in this game. But they're coming forward here. Klosterman to Cuisance. We are going attacking. So, oh, that's a good block by uh, Ricciuli. Alastur. Skoda. Look at this space for Skoda. By a line. Don't lose this, please. Cuisance. Selka. 
Oh, this is not going well. Good block. Come on. We're on the back foot now. Stuttgart are going to go for a smash and grab here. Selka. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? If Schalke now get a win against Hertha, that could be us out of the European places. I can't believe we've had all that possession with a one shot on target. How do you go from scoring five against Bayern to losing one nil at home against Stuttgart? That's embarrassing. And it's full time. We've lost one nil. Not good enough. One shot on target. That's just dreadful. Bayer won 4 1 in the end, so we're down to sixth. But we have two points over Schalke. We have Hanover away on the final day. It's going to be very, very close. We need to get a result in that. If Schalke better our result, then, well, they need to win. So we have to get a result against Hanover on this final day. And hopefully, Wolfsburg don't get a result either. Hanover, though, could be preparing for that cup final, so they may well rest players. Wolfsburg lost 4-1 to München Gladbach. So, that's at least one good thing that's gone right for us. They could still catch us, though. They are level on us with goal difference, but they have that three-point gap. So, if we lose, we are opening the door for them. Okay, final day of the season. We're away against Hanover. This is going to go down to the wire. We've did one just once against Hanover, which I think was this season. Tarnat has not been good, but Andreev has barely scored this season so we're going to stick with Martin Tarnat. Bad going forward last time but we're going to try it again today. We're going early crosses rather than working it in. We need to win this. We really really do. I don't want another season of trying to get into Europe. If we don't do it this season or next season that's the end of the series so if we don't do it here we don't do it next season that's it. We've run out of time and it's time to start a new series. It's a 4-2-3-1 for Hanover. Come on. And off we go. Final game of the season uh, away from home against Hanover. And we need a win. We really need a win. Burkhardt's coming forward early on here. Kier can put a cross in there. And we've got a corner in 15 seconds. Good start. Alfonso Souza's going to take it. What are we going to do? It's uh, cleared. It's a free kick. 12th minute of the game. Van Mola throwing. Here's Christophe Janssen who's on a yellow. And he's going forward here. Goes for goal. Hits the crossbar. And no one can take advantage of the rebound. And Svensson now on the attack for Hanover. I mean, he's having a free reign here. That's the end of that. Okay, uh, there's been some goals happening, but nothing that concerns us at the moment. That's fine. Free kick for Hanover. It's Richter. We've got a lot of men behind the ball, which I'm not that keen on. We need to be pressing higher, really. Here's Richter. Goes for goal, and that's just wide. Right, I think we are pushing quite high up. Yeah, we are. That's fine. Belskis to Vimola. Belskis. Oh, don't do that. Don't you dare always oh, put it over. That was a little reprieve. He's I mean, been a bit unsure about these short goal kicks. Let's try them a bit different. Let's distribute to the playmaker. But once again, it's been a very quiet first half. But no, maybe still time for a goal in this first half. Here is Shaman Kerr. Beats the defender to it. And here's Kevin Akershot. Come on, rebound. Oh, double save by Schendelar. Reculi long ball. Tavares wins the header there, but Yannick... And that's a great ball. Janssen, surely he's going to score this. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, how has the keeper got to that? Oh, we just can't find the net at the moment. We've been much better this game than we were last game. We've had some shots on target. We're looking better. Still a couple of minutes left of this first half. And a good header one there. Kevin Akershot. Now, again, beat that defensive line. Come on. That's a great ball. Janssen, surely this has got to be in. And it is. 43 minutes. We are 1-0 up. Janssen gets goal number seven of the season. And we take a lead. Now, I'm not sure if there's been any other goals around us. But have a look at half-time. That could be a Europa League goal. Janssen slots past the goalkeeper. And two minutes left of the first half. We are 1-0 up. We're looking good. It doesn't look like a lot of other teams are doing much. Leverkusen, I think, are winning. But half-time, at the moment, we're in sixth place. Leverkusen are beating Colm 1-0. Uh, but Wolfsburg are being held by uh, Hertha. And who's the other team we're waiting for? Schalke. And they are 2-1 behind at home against Nürnberg. So things going our way so far. We are in sixth. Of course, again, that might not guarantee us Europa League. Uh, do I go for don't get complacent? Now, I'm going to say we're unpleased with how things are going. Because I am. We're playing much better this game. Reculi to Akershot. 54 minutes of the game here. Sosa back to Kev Akershot. 
He's got Yannick in support, but goes inside to Tarnat. And that's a great ball for Janssen. Is this going to be 2-0? No, he can only hit the post. I need to keep an eye on Leverkusen's result against Cole. If they drop points, we could go into fifth. Well, one header there by Vimola. Here's Kier. Again goes long. Those floater balls over the top are brilliant. And again, the keeper has made a good save there. He's keeping Hanover in this game. 20 minutes left. It's a free kick for Hanover. Svensson plays it off to Miner, who goes for goal. And again, it's off target. Do you know what? Hanover haven't been great this game like we were last time. They just haven't taken their chances. Right, I've not made any subs yet. We're going to make some changes. Burkhardt's going to come off. Fabian Haag is going to come on. And I'm also going to bring off Keir and bring on Bruno. Because he's a bit more comfortable playing as that deep. Uh, winger, that deeper winger. Bayer still with that one goal lead over Cole. It's now 2-0. So I think fifth place is now out of bounds. But we are looking good in sixth. And unless there is a late goal here for Hanover, I think we'll have done enough. We've got two minutes left plus injury time. Which is a bit close. It's only 1-0. But this could be 2-0 here. Janssen again. And he's, well, the keeper's done nothing about that. It's 2-0, Janssen with two goals. He's had a fantastic second half of the season. Eight goals, which I think have all come after Christmas because <laughs> he's barely had a sniff. Andrei have played in the first half of the season and he's probably going to go. I think Andrei was on his way out the, in the uh, end of the season. But with 2-0 up, I think that will be game over now. Janssen, just an easy, I mean, the keeper's not even tried there. That was just an easy goal. So we have a two-point lead over Schalke. It looks like we've confirmed sixth place, which hopefully will get us Europa League. And there's still a few seconds left of the game. And uh, Hanover sort of running out of time. It's going to be a clean sheet, hopefully, as well. Uh, much, much better performance than against Stuttgart. I was really worried for our place in the Europa League if we'd have lost at home to Schalke, which we did. But it looks like we've done it enough here. We've won one, two nil, sorry. Janssen with two goals. Just two shots on target for Hanover. They weren't at their best today. And I think that has secured Europa League. But Schalke at the end, a 5-2 win over Nuremberg. So if we had lost that lead, if they've equalised, we would have been out of Europe. We would have been seventh. Uh, Wolfsburg in the end, a goalless draw against Hertha. Uh, Leverkusen were 2 nil winners. Uh, Bayern lost 3-1 to Werder. So they have been dropping points. They've been losing games. They lost 11 games this season. We lost less games than Bayern this year. Which makes me a bit nervous for how they're going to do in that cup final. I really want them to win, to win it. I don't think I've ever wanted Bayern to win a match more. But if they, if they win that, we'll stay in sixth. We'll have European football. If Hanover win, I think they will take our Europa League spot. I can't believe I'm more nervous about a game that I'm not even in than I am about, like games against Hanover and Stuttgart. I'm more nervous about a cup final that I'm not even a part of. There you see sixth place and it hasn't got an EC by our name so we are waiting on Hanover. Alright guys you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be really really cruel and I'm going to wait until next episode and I'm going to make you wait and see if we're getting into Europe next year. I'm going to make you wait. I'm leaving it on a cliffhanger. I don't do it very often but I want to make sure you come back for the next video. I'm really, really sorry, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I will see you next episode where we are going to watch the cup final. We're going to watch Bayern versus Hanover. And if Bayern win, we're in the Europa League next year. If Hanover win, we're not. We're going to find out next episode if we're going to be in the Europa League next season. It's going to be the second qualifying round, so it's going to be against some like farmers from Ar Armenia or something. I really, really hope that Bayern win the German Cup and confirm our place in Europe. But that is gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you wanna see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. Follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I'm gonna see you next episode, and we are gonna find out if we're gonna be in Europa League next year or not. We're gonna watch the German Cup as it happens. If Bayern win, we're in the Europa League, and if Hanover win, we're not. So. The biggest game of our season is a game that we're not even in. Do not miss it. And I will see you then. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.